This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I am continuing my series on 40 millimeter aluminum padlocks with this lock, the Sesame Model 90129. Let's start by looking at the keyway here. We can see that it is not paracentric. There's a pretty clear line right from the top to the bottom of the keyway, and we can squeeze a 25 thousandths thick pick in there. It's a little bit on the tight side. It's really borderline, but it's not so tight that it deadens our feedback. And I can pick this lock relatively easily with a 25,000 standard pick. So no points for either having a paracentric keyway or for requiring specialized tools. Okay, let's see what it takes to get into this lock. Using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar, and this standard hook in 25 thousandths. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose, five got a nice fat click out of him, tiny movement on the core. Click out of one, went into a false set, little movement on two. Okay, counter rotation on three. Okay, got him set. Four, nothing there, or on five. Okay, back to one, nothing there. Two, counter rotation, and that opened the lock up. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. Okay, we have a Phillips screw down the shackle hole to get this lock apart. Okay, let's get this clip off the back. You can see that it does have a follower, or I'm sorry, a tailpiece that would make you think this is bypassable. However, looking down the keyway, I can see there is something blocking this lock from being bypassable, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, let me dump out all these key pins before I show you the bypass protection. Okay, one is a serrated steel pin, two is a standard uh, brass, three is serrated brass, four is serrated brass, and five is standard brass. This looks like the case where we have the very short key pins that are not serrated and the longer ones are. I address that in my video on supplements to the point system. So I will be counting all five of these key pins as security pins. Okay, let's take a look at this, this core. We can see it is of a design that would normally be bypassable. However, if we look right down here in the bottom of the keyway, you can see there's a little plate that blocks our access to the, the locks actuator with a bypass driver. So clearly they had that bypass in mind when they made this lock and they put something in place to prevent it. So no deductions for being bypassable. And while we have this out, I will point out that that does have a counter milled core. So we will be giving it points for that. Okay, let's get the driver pins out now. One is a steel anti-drill pin, two is a spool, three is a spool, four is a spool, and five is an anti-bump pin. Okay, so let's go through the points that we get for this lock. We have five points on the key pin, I'm sorry, six points on the key pins, five for being all security pins, and then one extra for number one being a steel anti-drill pin. Then we have five points for our driver pins, four of them because they're security pins, and one point for the steel anti-drill um, anti pin. And then we have two more points for having the counter-milled core. 
So all in all, I believe that is 13 points, putting this sesame in second place. Let me give you a close up of all of this now. Okay, as you can see, we have all, well, not all serrated, but we have three serrated key pins and the two short ones would have been serrated had the bidding been different. So I am going to be, give them credit for being serrated. And then up on the driver pins, we have a, num a steel anti-drill pin in slot one, three spools in slots two through four, and an anti-bump pin in slot five. Then moving over to this core, you can see that it is countermilled. So we have our extra two points there. Okay, so 13 points total, not bad for this sesame. And that's all I have for you on this lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.